Five, and welcome to my Tremors 5 Bloodline movie review. Now, this is my last movie review of, of a Tremor movie until the new one comes out in May called Tremor A Cold Day in Hell. And I will definitely be buying that movie, doing an opening of the box, a DVD, a DVD review of it, and a movie review of it, okay? I'm a, I'm a Tremor fan. I grew up watching Tremor, um, having Tremor on VHS. Okay? Um, so, uh, came out in 2015, the hour and 39 minutes, and got the guy with the machine gun and all the weapons and stuff back in it. Uh, Michael Gra. Okay? Um, and rated PG-13. Okay? The all Tremor movie and rated PG-13 except for, you know what? It, the third one. The third one was the only one that was not rated PG-13. Tremor, Tremor, um, three Bachelor of Fashion were rated PG. Okay? So, this one right here was the only one that was not rated, um, PG, uh, PG-13. Uh, Tremor, three Bachelor of Fashion were the only one that were rated PG, not PG-13. Okay? And, uh, Tremor 3 to now, they all, it all had Michael Grodd as the main star. Michael Grodd would end Tremor 1 and 2, but not as the main character. Like the first one, the main character was uh, Kevin Bacon, and the second one, Fred Ward. Okay? But, but Michael Grodd, you know, Bert Grumman got all the machine gun stuff he, he was doing, the first two, but not as the main character. Um, This is uh, still another Tremor movie that came straight to DVD. I think they all came straight to DVD after the first one. Um, and, um, I like the movie, but I don't think it's that good as the first three. The first three will all be the best, in my opinion. Uh, and I'm, since I'm a Tremor fan, even if, even if they keep making a bunch of more down the road, I can still uh, buy them and watch them and still get the joy out of them because I'm a Tremor fan. And, uh, and, um, so, but I can tell you it, didn't, it wasn't really that good. But if you're a Tremor fan, you can still enjoy it and, and watch it and still enjoy it at, at being a Tremor fan like me. I like it. And, uh, one thing is, you can't, you can't have a Tremor movie without ha not having. Michael Grock in it. Can, can, can I think of Tremor movie? I think of Michael Grock. Because Michael Grock, it, it hit franchise. Except for the first one. The first one, the original one, is Kevin Bacon movie. Okay? The first one is Kevin Bacon movie. Okay? But if you look at the whole franchise, it Michael Grock. Um... Instead, here came out October a release date. Crazy DVD is October 3rd, 2015. Uh, 99 minutes. Um, if, if, if you if you've been grew up watching Tremor, you know they're not the uh, they're not they're not called Tremor. They're called Grab Boy. And um, and so um. Let's see here, um... And this movie, they go to South Africa, and they invade and battle with the uh, creature that discovered an even more legal creature. Okay? And, and, they, and they track down in South Africa at, at Blaster. Okay? But trimmers are called, um, Grab Boy. Not Tremor, and, um, Tremor, Tremor 5, still got some fun, a good fun moment in it, but, like, there's, there's some stuff in the movie that's stupid, but still funny moment, like, like, 
where uh, I can go out to, uh, in a cave and he hide. So he put some pee over him, over his body, kind of cooled up all and stuff. It just, uh, the, it just, it just some uh, fun and stupid moment. Uh, but I don't think the first three are the best. Um, so, um, I like it. I don't hate the movie. I don't like it that much as the first three. The first three are the best. That's the one I grew up watching over and over again. And then when, and then, and then one day when I found out about the fourth one, I had to always buy me buy the fourth one to get get it from the Taco Pack. And then, and then one day I went to Walmart and it, 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 it was at the front, you know, back in the by the DVD section, but at the by, by the new release date, I was like, wow. So I, so I, I took off the shelf and bought it. I was so happy. And and now. A couple months ago, I found out, two or three months ago, I found out they're making another one called Code in Hell, and that's why I started reviewing all Trimmer movies once a month, okay? And, so, thank you all for watching. Before I go, I'm going to give you my grade of the movie. I'm going to give it the same grade that I gave uh, Trimmer for The Legend Began. I think I like Trimmer for The Legend Began and uh, Trimmer 5. Bloodline, I think, because uh, I, 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 I think the uh, I think uh, the one one cool thing in the movie I like when when they when they fight that uh, ad grabber um, uh, ad blaster. That that what they call in the movie, but Trimmer is called uh, Grab Boy, and there's a really awesome cool thing in the movie that I like, and if you seen the movie. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Where they, where they have an awesome fight scene, in my opinion, on the uh, bridge. That like, that, that like the best thing in the movie. And, and not totally, a notorious bad movie. But, um, uh, uh that, that, that like the best thing in the whole movie. But, but they had stupid thing like that, uh, stupid thing where, uh, you know, where, uh, Michael got in a cage and put pee all over, over his body and cool stuff off. Stuff like that makes the movie dumb and stupid. And, and not good in the franchise, but if they if they, if they would kept having if they would kept having more cool things like the fighting with with the grab boy on the brain, then the movie would been awesome. The whole movie would been awesome. But but that's my favorite thing when they have when they fight the grab boy on the brain. It was awesome. And so I'm gonna give it a D, the same grade I gave it a turn for the legend again. Cause that one thing I gotta make make it up for the whole movie. They gotta have that. They gotta have a cool thing like that throughout the whole movie to make it awesome. Okay. So I like it. I give it a D. And I can't wait for Trimmer. Um. To come out in May, which is next month. Cold in Hell. And I would I will buy the movie. Do a movie review of it. A DVD review of it. And open it on the box. Okay. And. Um, and then, after I, um, review Trimmer Dead, I'll, I'll ask y'all, in my movie review of Trimmer Dead, which one is y'all favorite, which one is y'all least favorite, and all that stuff, okay? And thank y'all for watching my Trimmer 5 Bloodline movie review.